Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to show you guys what's going on with one of my Terrapins in this tub. I also want to give you a quick update of what's going on and how I'm going to school in three days and what turtles I'm going to be bringing with me. So first, I want to show you guys some changes that I made to my 110 gallon stock tank that houses five Terrapins total, one male, and excuse me, four terrapins, one male and three females. As some of you know, recently I went to the National Breeders Expo in Daytona where I met up with a buddy and got one of my terrapins that I loaned to him back. That terrapin is this gal right here who's just in a temporary tub for the past day until I figure out what I am doing with her. Now the reason she's in this tub is because if you check over here, Flipper's face is all kinds of messed up right now. So you can see it's still a little pink and a little sore, but the rest of it, Bean, do you mind, is looking like it's healing up. That's what that orange is. That orange is scar tissue. That's good stuff. But Flipper got her butt whooped a little bit. What happened was I think that adding the extra terrapin caused some changes in the pecking order of these turtles and for some reason she went after Flipper. Now in order to help her heal up I added a little bit of betadine to her face however she's still active as you can see begging and eating but she is definitely not acting entirely normal. She is a little bit shaken up and so I want to show you guys some of the steps that I'm going to take to make sure that she gets back to health despite the fact that I'm leaving for school in three days. Another point is that I also came out the day after her attack and you can still see some down there all those little white flecks that is an eggshell so that eggshell means that someone in this tub laid an egg my personal opinion is that flipper got attacked got stressed out went to the bottom and popped out an egg now the unfortunate part is that this is a male she has been with a male for the past four months. Therefore, odds are those eggs will be fertile. Now, if a terrapin lays an egg in the water or any turtle of that sort, if you catch it within the first half hour to an hour, odds are it could very well be a good fertile egg. You can incubate it with no problems and odds are you'll get a hatchling. However, these guys had already torn it up. Most turtles will go and actually eat the eggs. So these guys, they did what was natural to them. They went and they ate the egg. They're scavengers, they see something, they eat it. I don't blame them, it's no one's fault, but the amount of eggshell in the water told me she still got more and that that looked like there was only one egg. Terrapins usually have more than one egg anywhere up to like 20 something eggs. Therefore, I decided that Flipper needed a place to lay the eggs. So I had to go ahead and construct some type of nesting box for her to deposit the eggs. And that's sort of where this contraption came in. First, allow me to explain the heat lamp that is here. The sun gives them natural UVB that comes in, but they were not getting heat. Uh, there's no heat that comes in. Direct sunlight does not come in through the screen. It comes in over there, as you can see. Those guys are getting all lit up, but there's nothing over here. Therefore, I had to install a supplemental light, so that way these guys can bask and get nice and toasty. So I stacked two cinder blocks down here to create a stable and nice basking area for them. And then I have this sort of screen stuff that was laying around. I was able to just put it right up here, take a cinder block, take this old filter. If you guys remember from one of my previous videos, this is the filter that I had running on this tub last summer. I filled it with dirt from the pond, all right, there. And I added some temporary walls. If I were to do something more permanent, I would purchase another one of these flip it upside down, put it on here, and cut out a little entrance way for that. However, I'm leaving in two days. I don't have the time for that. Therefore, three walls, and so far they have not escaped. So now, just in case any of these gals get the urge to dig, or they want to go ahead and hunker down when it starts to get cold, sometimes terrapins brewmate outside of the water, they can climb this ramp, get up in here, and there's all this dirt for them to go ahead and do whatever they want to do. This is a really good example of what you guys can totally do. This is a very achievable setup that could be permanent for these terrapins, even with the number of turtles that I have. So some steps that I'm going to take now to ensure that her little wound heals up. 
With her attitude, I'm very confident that she will heal right up and get better. In order to make sure that she does get better, I'm gonna be adding some salt to this water and doing a 100% water change today to make sure that the water clarity is perfect and the little salt is a buffer to sort of take away any gross bacteria in the water and make it uninhabitable for some nasty, icky stuff. Please excuse my lack of shirt. It is absolutely covered in sweat because I've been working for the past three hours or so getting this porch ready for when I go to school. A couple changes that I made to make the tub ready and more importantly have Flipper get healthy and that way I and my parents really don't have to worry about her. So I purchased this salt right here. This is just some diamond crystal water softening pellets and you can see they're still dissolving down there right next to the pump. I like to put the salt next to the pump that way it can circulate a little bit better. We can see right over here Flipper and Big Blue are napping together, but I can show you guys tomorrow morning that Flipper's eyes are definitely looking a lot better. Her snout is looking pretty good. And I also moved the heat lamp over here because when it rains, sometimes the wind pushes the rain in here and I didn't want it to burn out my bulb. And I finished doing my 100% water change on this system. I'm literally leaving right now. I'm about to hop in the car for school. You can see there's Big Blue. Uh, this is my little male, super cool. There's Bean right there, and Flipper is nowhere to be found. She's probably hiding in her tube, but I really have to go, like now, like now. Uh, I was gonna show you her face, but it seems like she doesn't wanna come up, but she's healing up very beautifully. We got the basking light there. I moved it around, that way they can get closer to it. Uh, and that's gonna be it. I have to go. Okay. Yeet! So please excuse the cut at the end of the video. I really, really had to leave. I was driving down here to my grandmother's in Florida. Tomorrow I drive across the state of Florida in order to get to school. But that's gonna be it for this video. I'm sorry that I couldn't show you guys more. I really was stressed out and very busy. I had to get everything done, had my surgery, and it was just sort of a mess. Thank you all for enjoying this debacle of a video. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button so that way you guys can see all my new and other upcoming videos. Hit the little bell notification thingy so that way you get notified when I post. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you all in my dorm.